Okay, this is part two to our universal finger picking. Uh, last time we were concentrate on, concentrating on what I call the six string uh, picking pattern, which was six and two, three, four and one, three, six and two, three, four and one, three, just over and over again. Review that on your lesson, uh, last lesson. And when the actual picking pattern comes up on the screen, uh, just put it on pause for a few, a couple of minutes or so, so that you can then get that pattern, okay? Uh, I'm going to follow this now, you only need to do another couple of patterns, but this is going to be called the fifth string uh, pattern. Basically, these will work on doing chords like a, a C chord, I'll just show you a C chord, Spielberg on camera again. Mr. Spielberg, are you all right there? Yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Up and down. It's, that's, okay, that's great. So we're, that's the C chord, that which is played from the fifth. Uh, an A chord is played from the fifth string root, and an A minor. So this works. This pattern that we're going to show you is going to work from all of those. Okay, going back to the fingers then. So I'm playing the C as an example, and I'm doing this. I'm using. I've got my I've got it fingers there, uh, putting on the five and two. So here we go. I'm going. Five and two, pinched together, followed by the three, always the three in between. Five and two, three, four and one, three. Five and two, three, four and one, three. Five and two, three, four and one, three. And that's all we need. That would work against the C chord, that would work against an A chord. Because an A chord, remember, is from the fifth string group. That would work against an A minor. Any chord that basically has got a fifth string root that includes bar chords from the fifth string, like little A shapes and so forth. So uh, this has worked. Okay, I'm going to show you a close up. Okay, okay. This we've got written. We've got five and two, followed by the three, four and one. Remember, these are strings to be plucked together. Five and two. That's why they are on top of each other. Five and two. Strings to be plucked on the, with the right hand. Three, four and one, three, five and two, three, four and one, three. And if you need to, just get that into the shot. And if you want to play along with it, put your pause button on the bottom of your uh, YouTube facility. Isn't that great? Pause. So you used to do that to get that. It's five and two, three, four and one, three, five and two, three. Four, one, three. Great. Right, we're going to put these together. I'm going to put uh, G, six and two, three. And I'm going to go to an E minor, which is a. E minor is a six, two, three. So it's six and two, three, four, one, three. I'll do that again, slow it down. It's G, six and two, three, four, one, three. Six and two, three, four, one, three. That's a whole bar. Count it one and two and three and four. I go to an E minor. One and two and three and four. Same pattern. I'm counting when I'm saying that one and two and three, four. The C now is going to remember it's going to be the fifth string pattern. Only difference is it's five and two, three, four and one, three. With six and two before. Okay, I hope I'm not confusing with all these numbers. Five and two, three, four and one, three. Five and two, three, four and one, three. If I go to an A minor, it's the fifth string root, and it's five and two, three, four and one, three. So there's four chords. I'll do G, E minor, C, A minor. Sitting at a railway station, got a ticket for my destination. On the tour of one night stand, suitcase and guitar in hand. Every place she's land, oh, and I know my man. I will shout, I was homeward bound.
Doing that Paul Simon style. I'm going to get into doing that. See you next time. Peace.